Hey guys, Mark here, and today I've got something super special to show you. What I have in front of me are three products that have been custom made and are completely unique, which is pretty rare in the tech world. A company called Carved sent this out to me, and if I'm being completely honest with you, my inner hipster's going a little bit crazy right now. All three of these products are created by taking the burl of a tree, carving it up, and sanding it down, and then pouring colored resin in to fill in the gaps. The end result is this slab of wood and resin that's then made into a few different products, and it looks incredible. Since every wood burl is different, a wood burl is kind of like a tumor on a tree, by the way, every product they have is unique. The first thing I want to talk about is my favorite, and it's their phone cases. This case is for the iPhone 11, but they have a ton of cases for just about every phone, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description down below for you to check out. The cool thing about it is that it looks real. You can see all the little imperfections in the wood and the gaps, and <laughs> and it actually smells like wood too. I don't know why I wasn't expecting anything different since it is wood, but there you go. The resin also has this shiny, sparkly quality that I really like, and the rubber sides around the phone genuinely feel like it'll protect my phone. Actually, I know it will because I was trying to hang canvases the other day and use my phone as a level to keep them straight, and I dropped the phone from about eight feet up, like nearly ceiling height. <laughs> And there's not a scratch or a crack on either the phone or the case, so that's great. On the inside of the case, there's this really soft kind of felt backing as well as their logo and a bit of branding at the bottom to remind you of the uniqueness of their product. Overall, it's a great case and it feels really premium. I actually can't find any faults in it. The next product they have is a wallet, and this is by far the smallest wallet I've ever used. It's barely bigger than the cards that actually fit inside of them. It's equally as well made as the case, and it's a really simple design, just two pieces, a front and a back that's tightly pulled together with this sort of rubber band elastic thing that actually doubles as a cash holder as well. They say it holds five cards, although I'm currently using six, and it looks awesome. However, there is one gripe I have with it. The cards are really hard to get out and put back in it, no matter how many cards you have or how few cards you have in there. And if you use your cards a lot, I can see the metal casing do a little bit of damage to your cards over time because of the tightness. It isn't a big deal for me because most of the time I'm using either Apple or Google Pay, depending on the phone I'm using at the time. But if you're a person that pulls out one or two cards every time you go to the grocery store, you might find it to be a bit of an annoyance. I think the design overall is really good though. It's tiny, it's light, it's minimalist, and I barely notice it in my pocket. It's much better than the thick wallet I was carrying around earlier this year. Even the bag that these products come in is really cool. Carved is a company from Indiana, so they include this reusable bag with a topographical map of somewhere in Indiana on it. And I gotta say, it's a nice little bag. It fits with their nature vibe that they've got going on. The third and final product that Carve sent me is also their newest product, and it's what they're calling the world's thinnest wireless charger. And it's, you know, it's thin. It's probably the thinnest or smallest wireless charger I've ever seen. And overall, it works very well. When you use it right. <laughs> The way a wireless charger works is actually fairly simple. Inside this tiny little case is a single copper coil and it's wrapped up in a circular fashion. When that coil is placed underneath the charging coil built into the back of your phone, electricity is then transferred between the coils and your phone starts charging. Pretty simple. As it turns out, the best part about this charger is also kind of the worst part. Since it only has one coil, you need to place your phone in the right spot to charge it correctly. And since it's so small, your phone kind of covers the entire thing to the point where it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where your phone needs to go in order to charge it the fastest. When you do place it in the right spot though, it charges fast, even with a case on it. It's a 15 watt wireless charger, so it's actually rated at double the speed that an iPhone 11 and 11 Pro can support. Both those phones are only rated up to like 7.5 watts of wireless charging speed. You will get a faster charging speed without a case on your phone, but that's just the nature of all wireless chargers. The only gripe I have about it, or the only other gripe I had about it, I should say, is that the cable feels just a bit too fragile. They have a blurb about this on their page where they hang a 10 pound barbell from it without breaking, but I'm still not entirely convinced. It still feels just a little bit too weak. I think a thicker braided cable would have worked just fine and might have even added to the look of the product. So speaking of the look, I really like it. It's just like the phone case and the wallet case and it's incredibly unique and I think it's earned a permanent spot on my desk over any other wireless charger given how nice it looks on the desk. Overall, I think Carve's products are great and they're a breath of fresh air in a world where, let's be honest, tech products tend to be a little bit bland. They are a bit pricey, but given their handmade and unique nature, I think the price you pay is well worth it. I mean, I was using this really boring black spigging case on my 11 before this and while it was a decent case, 
it doesn't compare to this. I mean, come on. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll leave links to them down in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to support my channel. And as always, have a great day.